So Steckenreiter has had a few pitches down the left field line. And he'll continue to throw as Patrick Johnson gets set to face Taylor Sparks. The Pensacola third baseman 0 for 2. A pair of pop-outs to the first baseman, Chris Curley. Curley holding Urban on at first. Representing the tying run. A pickoff throw to first base. And Urban goes back standing up. Kyle McMinn throws down the right field line for Pensacola. Starter Jackson Stevens has gone the first five innings. Johnson with another pickoff throw to first, and Irvin is back safely. Irvin stole second base back in the first inning. That was his 27th steal of the year. Now Johnson sets. First pitch to Sparks. There goes Irvin. The pitch is high. Throw down to second. The tag by Weber. Not in time as Irvin slid in with the right foot ahead of Garrett Weber's tag. He has a stolen base, his second of the game. 28th of the year for Irvin. And it puts the tying run at second base with nobody out in the top of the sixth. One ball, no strikes on Taylor Sparks, the right-handed hitting third baseman. Johnson sets, looks out at second, now kicks for the 1-0. Sparks swings and misses one ball and one strike. 1-0 Jacksonville in the top of the sixth inning. Game one of the doubleheader. And the Blue Wahoos threatening with a runner at second. Nobody out in the top of the sixth. It's the fourth different inning in which Pensacola has put a runner in scoring position. Now 1-1 from Johnson. Swing and a pop-up foul over the first base side. On top of the screen, it rolls down the screen over the sections behind home plate and Sebastian Elizalde, the on-deck hitter, catches it. One ball, two strikes from Johnson to Sparks. The outfield playing a little bit more shallow and shading Sparks to hit the ball the opposite way. Johnson kicks 1-2. It misses inside with the fastball. Two balls and two strikes. Irvin leads from second base. Mooney, the shortstop, creeping in behind him just a step or two. Now the 2-2. There goes Irvin. Pitch is high for a ball. Throw down to third. And in time, Anderson puts the tag on Irvin's right lower leg. And a huge out here in the top of the sixth inning. Garcia to Anderson for the first out in the top of the sixth. And it takes a Pensacola runner out of scoring position. Now the count full to Taylor Sparks. With one out, Johnson works from the windup in a swing and a foul back to the screen. Three balls and two strikes. And you can see the replay on MILB.TV. The huge play in this game. Irvin thrown out by Arcia, throwing to Anderson down at third base. Johnson again from the windup on the 3-2. Sparks check swing, went too far, called strike three to Taylor Sparks. It's the eighth strikeout for Patrick Johnson.